Well, it is such a delight for me to be here with Joelle from Smithberry Barn, and we are going to be doing some cooking, which is always fun when we come here and get to do this. But um, first of all, tell me what it is we're going to be making today. So today we're going to make a skillet berry cobbler. Oh, cool. So we're making a traditional cobbler, but we're doing it in a cast iron skillet. And then before we jump into this recipe, I, I see that you have both fresh blueberries and frozen berries. Is This is a recipe we're going to use both of those. In. It is okay to use frozen anytime. My, I tend to freeze all my fruit when we're really busy right. and then I bake when I'm not so busy with the frozen fruit. So today I chose to do our triple crown blackberry which is frozen and then our fresh blueberries that were picked today. All right so let's jump right in. What do all you right. want me to do? So you can start doing the um, sugar filling and it's sugar and some cornstarch my frozen berries are noisy. They are noisy, but that means they're <laughs> delicious. So we have about five cups of blackberries and about two cups of blueberries. And you're doing some cinnamon. And you can go ahead and toss that right on top. I'm gonna be doing some lemon zest over this. And the lemon zest is, quite frankly, just the outer skin as you grate it like that, exactly. right? Exactly, and I just kind of go around the lemon once. I'm not too particular about how much goes in. And then I don't know if this, is this right? Have I done this? That looks great. Okay. Yep, we and like I'm just it. just sprinkle it all over? Yep, go ahead and sprinkle it right over the top. And we're going to put the juice of half of a lemon on. And then once we stir all of that together, the lemon juice will act as our liquid that will help um, kind of distribute all of That's that That's a sugar. fancy way to squeeze a lemon, isn't it? This is a great tool. And I'm going to guess that I could buy that right here at your store you as well. Can. Cool. Yes, you can. Yeah, that's that's a great way to do that. So we'll just give this a toss until it's pretty much coating all of the berries. So I have a question while you're stirring that, Joelle. It, when I've done recipes like this with berries or, or peaches and stuff, mm -hmm. sometimes they're really, really super runny, and I don't think that I intend them to be that way after they're cooked. I Correct. expect them to be a little thicker. What so, can I do for that? Well, you can add more or less of the cornstarch. That's basically okay. what's helping our um, juices to solidify or gel, not solidify. Um, and so if you have a fruit that's extra juicy like a peach, you can use more of the cornstarch. Um, sometimes my berries aren't super juicy, and so I will add a little bit of extra water okay. to help them. So you really, you can adjust. You can adjust. You can add more or less sugar, depending on what kind of fruit you're using. Um, the tartar berries, the blackberries usually need a little bit more sugar than a right. sweeter peach or something like that. Now, so that's the filling? That's This is it. So we have had our um, skillet in the oven warming up as we warmed up our oven with a little bit of butter. Right. And we're going to grab that and then we're going to put this into the skillet and pop it in the oven while we make our topping. Perfect. Okay, so now this this is what I'm going to call the biscuits that I see on top of those the things. The topping, the so, biscuits. Um, what is it that you're putting in here? So basically we have some flour, and then if you want to add, we have some sugar, okay. some baking powder, and some salt. And then I have cubed up a about four tablespoons of butter. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to cut it all together. So you're using the thing that I used to use when I would make pie crust, and exactly. just cutting it all together there. Yep, just okay. the old fashioned by hand. It's the easiest and best way. You want the butter to be in small pieces and then we get nice um, rise in our biscuits with cold pieces nice. of butter. Nice. So we'll do a little bit more and then I'm going to add some heavy cream. Ooh, delicious. Which is nice and rich. Right. So about a half a cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna leave a little extra in my um, cup to uh, top it with with a little bit of sugar at the end. Oh, okay. So to spare just a little and then this will mix. And I get the feeling that I don't see a, a, a blender here. I suspect you're going to do this all by hand. This aren't is you? totally by hand. So yeah. mix it just enough to get it to come together. Right. And then basically all I do is I piece the biscuits together by hand. I'm going to make about... So you're not even going to roll this out and no, cut them. You're going to all do it by hand. I'm just going to do it in this one pan so I don't make a mess. And I will just start patting together my little biscuits. And I'm going to make probably about seven. And so you really, the, you're not making them very fancy. You're this just putting them... This is very rustic. Yeah, I like that. No, that's really cool. And you can make smaller, you can make them bigger. 
This size will cover the pan nicely, but leave enough room around the sides for it to vent. And you should have just enough um, biscuit to make a biscuit per serving with enough filling inside to have a nice amount of filling per um, and it looks like you're almost done making those So what now. did I so say? I said I was going to have... You are going to do seven. Seven, and I ended up with... Seven. Seven. Wow, All perfect. Right. So our um, topping has been in the oven. We need to raise the temperature to about 400 degrees so that we can cook the biscuits on a little higher temperature. Okay, so explain that to me. I'm a so, simple lad. So I, you're, you're wanting... You, you've got it cooked at 350 up until now. You're, you're raising it so that these cook a little bit differently then? Exactly, okay. we need them to cook fast and high so that they get a nice puff on them. We want them to be browned, but we need the filling to be simmering a little bit before that. We need Perfect. it to cook down a little. So that's what's been happening. Now we're gonna raise the temperature, we'll put the biscuit topping on, and then we will bake it off. All right, let's do that. All right. Okay, so now we're waiting to put the biscuits on, and I'm gonna call them biscuits because that's what they look you like to me. Can keep calling can I do them, them biscuits. Yep. Can go I ahead. put them on there? Yep. Okay. One in the middle and then just right around the center. And then I'm gonna be putting some um, heavy cream on the top, and you can squish them down just a little bit. We want them to blend in with the, uh, make a connection with the fruit. Okay, I see what you're doing there. I was doing a little, I'll try to get this one a little closer. You're good. And then there, this one. All right. Well, I'm not good at this part at all, am I? <laughs> this is great. It will not matter in the end. And then what are you putting this? The, the so a little bit of heavy cream, that extra heavy cream that we saved out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of super fine sugar on the top nice. just to give them a nice little crust. And then we will pop it back in the oven at our 400 degree temp for about 25 to 30 minutes. You want to watch that last five minutes to make sure you have good bubbling um, sauce, but also that you have nice browned biscuits. Right. Okay. Let's so we're going to go in back in the then. oven. Okay, so now this is done, and Joelle, it looks absolutely delicious. So what is it that, how would we serve this? Because it just came out, so it's this a little fresh little out of runny, the oven. Maybe. It's going to be a little saucy right yeah. now, but we want you to have a bite. Okay, so. well, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to scoop up an individual biscuit Easy. with a yeah. nice scoop of berries. This will solid. This will gel up a little bit more. Because it, it after literally, it sits. you just yes. took it out, so it is. And hot. this will be amazing with ice cream, which Wonderful. we don't have right this minute. But just make sure you don't touch your pan. Right. When right. it comes out of the oven, since you're serving straight out of it. And I have to say that you made this with flour, so it is. There, there's gluten in this. But one of the things I noticed this time while we're at your store is you're selling these. Tell me about these gluten-free products. So we have a really nice line of gluten-free scone mixes, which I thought would be great and really easy right. to make this even easier um, to have a pre-packaged scone mix. And so just replace the entire topping portion of the um, recipe with an with easy, these, basically yeah. add water. And the lemon one would be great. The original one would be great. Well, there you have it. Now, you know, every time we get to do a recipe here, we always send you over to their website by going to gardentime.tv. And while you're there, you can find so many other delicious recipes that you can make in your own kitchen. Thank you so much, Joanna. Thank you.